You want me to stab you? Yeah. No, you stab yourself. Why? Did you vlog? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh wow, I can't believe I'm here guys. Does it not feel like when I was here and filming all the mukbangs in this very exact spot like two years ago? And now we've come full circle because I ended up moving. I remember in all those vlogs, they were like, you guys need to move back to Atlanta. And I was like, ugh. And uh, now we're here. <laughs> we're visiting my sister and Andrew about their house today because we have been trying to encourage them. We've been begging them to start a YouTube channel. And I thought if they just try it, maybe you'll fall in love with it. That's what we're doing today. They're trying to vlog. I'm so excited. So this is going to be a day in my sister and Andrew Opa's life. This is honestly, I might swap ha, ha, tripods ha. before I leave. What do you guys first. think of this? Look at yeah, this. Yeah, they have a camera, guys. They're going to start a YouTube channel this year in 2023 that we even talked about it during our 2023 goal plan planning session, we were telling them, because if you guys are even a little bit interested in making YouTube videos, why not, you know? Why not start now? Because sometimes it's the random small choices that can just completely transform your freaking life. And one of those choices for us, obviously, was starting YouTube. But also something easier, something smaller, something you can do right now was downloading Rocket Money. Stop it. My fiance is passionate about this, but he has always been big on staying on top of your finances. And he puts a lot of effort into making sure that all of our loved ones, everyone around us is financially literate and in tune with their finances. That's like his love language. And Rocket Money is a fantastic way to get started. It is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. It's almost like a personal finance manager. You can even use Rocket Money's personal finance manager to manage your subscriptions, lower your bills, monitor your credit score, uh, build your savings all in one place. We did this at the end of 2022 before the new year. We went through and canceled all of our unwanted subscriptions through Rocket Money. It was just a tap. It was the easiest thing ever. I was putting it off for so long because the idea of calling people, hunting down some hidden cancel subscription on a website was not a pleasing activity. Rocket Money does all of that for you. They will monitor your credit score. They'll give you a clear picture of your net worth, which is one of the best ways that I find to be motivating in how much money I save because seeing that number go up is like satisfaction, you know? But my favorite, my favorite features of Rocket Money is that you can lower your bills through Rocket Money. Did you guys know that you can lower your bills? Freaking mind blown. You can actually negotiate your bills, like internet service bills, cable bills, phone bills. You go to Rocket Money and you send them a picture and with a tap, they will go negotiate your bills for you. Rocket Money helps you stay on budget. They'll remind you when you've exceeded your set budget. They'll monitor your spending per your category. Getting this visual pie of my biggest expenses every single month has been Okay, honestly, kind of mind-blowing. <laughs> it just gives you a better sense of how to budget successfully. Maybe Rocket Money this year is the small little decision that you make that makes you feel a lot more empowered in your life, in your finances, and so much more ready to tackle the new year. To try out Rocket Money for free and unlock more features with premium, you guys can head to rocketmoney.com slash missmango or click the link in the description. You can also scan this QR code rocketmoney.com slash miss mango and thank you rocket money for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it well, you have really good lighting in this house can you start setting up shop and filming a freaking van right here are you kidding we're at my sister's and i don't know what they did this morning i haven't even seen the clips but i told them last night hey you guys should vlog first thing in the morning how was that the morning <laughs> In bed was not as great yeah. because we were so tired we didn't want to get up. Oh my god. And Sophie got up before us and she was waking us up. But yeah, it was good. We're gonna insert that footage and see if it was indeed good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting up and this crazy little bugger is destroying our room. Sophie. <laughs> Young lady, can I help you? What is this? Ooh, your mama gonna be pissed. You just don't care, do you? This is some sort of dish her grandmother made. So off we go. She loves eating. Yum, 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 yum. Don't matter what it is. Doesn't it look so appetizing? Mmm. Uh oh. She's ready for more. You want a 
Let's get her some, some fruits. Some strawberries, please. Can I help you? Are you going to eat strawberries, Sophie? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to eat a That's for your sister. And these are for you. Are you guys going to eat it? Okay. What do you want? Pizza? Oh, yeah. Every time we order chuman with like our friends or just me and him, we have a debate because I only like white meat. Who only likes white meat? <laughs> me? Yeah, I am like... sure there's a lot of you out there. No. Leave it in the comments. No. Dude, we argue about this all the time and she thinks Even I'm crazy. Even from Zaxby's, I'm like, Ew! Boneless. You get boneless? It's yes. Like, uh, it's the Versus, texture. You like the texture yeah. of boneless? She likes that dry... Dry meat. You like dry <laughs> desert meat. You like chop, like, like just... Like no juice. No juice. Just like cardboard. Just, yeah, just like really... It's not cardboard. It is. Well, I don't like to work around the bone, but... If you don't like working around the bone, you should go for thighs. I prefer flats over thighs, but I don't like wings. Flats it. is dark meat. I know, but like... I don't I don't like thighs for some reason. Wow. I don't know. I just don't like the texture. It's so chewy and like It's not chewy, it's moist. juicy. You know it's healthier for you. Like you're worried about healthy food. I mean I'm not. I just it's just I don't like the texture. You know Sophie's even worse than me. Wow. She only eats the fried skin. Like, she only eats the skin. Yeah. She won't eat the oh kick at it and she'll only eat the fried, you know, the breaded part. Why do you guys have so much orange juice? Yeah, who drinks so much oh orange juice? Oh my god. I do. He goes you to drink so much orange juice? for that orange juice. That this orange juice. juice? Kirkland? Yes, I used to drink uh, the Simply. Oh, I saw the news. So, Poisoning there or something? Uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> so you swarmed by this orange juice? Oh it's the best. Everybody get a drink. Guys, it's good. Why do we act like we've never had orange juice before? Later. Please. It hurts. Please work. Can you do the injection? Why would I do it? You do it. Yeah, you do it. You want me to stab you? Yeah. No, you stab yourself. Why? So, I have really bad eczema that doesn't really respond to topical steroids. So, I have to do an injection every two weeks. Sunday is the day and it hurts so bad. So and I'm a pharmacist, so like I should not be such a baby, but it hurts so bad. I think you should just stab yourself. I'm scared. I've done it a thousand times. No, I know, but that's the, that's how much it hurts. It, hold it with two hands. Mm. Ah! So it wasn't so bad. It hurts. Look how swollen oh, it is. Really? She doesn't do it to you? <laughs> wow. This is fancy, a certificate. What do you think, Andrew? What do you think of jewelry? What do you think of this necklace? She's happy. I've never been much of a, a jewelry guy, but... He, no, he wants a gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> it's the silence. It's the He's silence. A, I do. <laughs> oh, so pretty! Can we yeah, show the camera? What do you think? 
Can what do, do I think? Little... Yeah, be honest. So before my current job, I was in a retail beauty supply store for mm -hmm. ten, oh ten years, eight years. What? One of the things we used to sell, you know, we used to sell like hair and, and you know yeah. products and stuff, but the costume jewelry was like. As soon as I mean, that... it could be like a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, twenty dollars. You know. So the high end stuff. Yeah, yeah, the high yeah. end would be like twenty dollars, <laughs> and I was like, man, I could have got you this this same necklace for like fifteen bucks. That's what oh, he man. said when I sent him the text of the picture. <laughs> oh man, yeah. As long as you don't shower in it. I know. Well, you can't even Why shower can't in it. Shower? It's gonna get unshiny. Okay, yeah, that. maybe fifteen dollars. <laughs> See, for that much money. Yeah, you can't shower in it for that much money. For fifteen dollars, you can. You can't shower in it either. <laughs> no, it turns green. So <laughs> try this on too? Yes, you can actually shower. Oh, oh but don't shower. They said don't wear other necklaces with the sun. It oh. makes it bad. Oh, my God. All right, yes, you, can't, you can't be two chains. <laughs> <laughs> When I was in pharmacy school, all my friends used to be obsessed with majority. Really? Yeah. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, no, it looks. Yeah. yeah, it might look it's better casual, than. Right? It mm -hmm. might look better than the other okay, one. Okay, <laughs> come on. Just kidding. That's yeah. for like dinners. You know, once in a blue moon. Once in a blue. moon? That's like every day. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I opened the door. It's a we're a fresh win. I'm thinking now is my chance. I let it rip. You found it. She didn't know she but she smelled it probably. <laughs> no, this smells really bad. You know how the carrots? Oh, the that... carrots! Oh no, I don't know about the carrots, Tiffany. Wow, look at all this food. If only your eyes could smell. This is my sister eating this boneless chicken tender. So I good find. though. I did have a tender, it wasn't bad, but I'm trying to compare it to a drumstick. Let's try. You gotta get it all covered in this snow sauce. What is snow sauce even made out of? I don't know, but it's so good. Maybe we should figure it out. Okay. Come on. Is it good? So much better than a tender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mommy's not here today because my mom is down. So recently, Sophie was sick. I got a text message a couple days ago. Six in the morning, my sister. I just got out of the ER. Which, that's a very bad text to send okay, without sorry, context. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, that's all it said. I just got out of the ER. No emoji, no LOL. I freak out, I call her. My first thinking is Mia. Yeah. I'm like panicking. She's fine, mm -hmm. Mia's fine. Mia's at home with Andropa, and my sister just got out of the emergency room from like 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. with Sophie. All night. Sophie's just throwing up, throwing up. My sister said she could hear the throw up in Sophie's stomach before it came out. You know like when your stomach like moves mm -hmm. and you like, hear that sound like oh. coming up? I would hear that before she even got up to throw up because she was sleeping. Oh, and then at the hospital, she threw up in the waiting room and then she threw up again in the exam room. So in the waiting room, I actually didn't take her to a children's hospital because it's like 30 or 40 minutes away. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like Mia's case where she was like having trouble breathing. She was throwing up. So yeah. I took her to the nearest um, ER. I was the last person to check in. And they took her first. Mm. And like she was like actively throwing up. They said it's like a virus. I was like, how do I get it? Because I, I avoid everything I can get. So I'm like, is she gonna cough and then I'm gonna get it? And my sister goes, no, you basically have to touch their poop and somehow that poop's gonna go in your mouth. And I was like, oh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Two days later, Andrew and my mom are down. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my well, God. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. But not like with beer hand. Yeah. yeah. One time she's with beer hand. Yeah, I get poo on myself all the time. Oh my god. Bro, the no other day lie. She said she yeah. had poop in her fingernails. Because she's changing oh, her I diaper. Oh, I thought you glove or something. Bruh. <laughs> she said after all Dude, the time. Now that y'all say it like that. Wow, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany has a kid. When you have a kid, you're going to be like. Every time you change the diaper, you know how many times you have to change newborn diaper like 10, 11 times a day? You're gonna be like, Yesterday, we're FaceTiming Cindy, and she looked down, she's like, Oh my god, I have poop on my shirt. It's just like poop. It's poop on her shirt. I'm like, on the way home from the emergency room, she's ranting to me about you. This was the most comical, weirdest thing ever. She was telling me how Sophie kept getting up to throw up and my sister's panicking and my sister's like the worried one. She goes, Andrew, put Sophie in the car. I gotta take her to the emergency room. And he goes, no, no, I said, 
Hey, Andrew, can you help me clean her throw up? Because I was like, okay, if she throws up one more time, I'm taking her to the emergency room. And then she threw up. So I was like, okay, I'm going to, I have to take her. So I was like, Andrew, can you help me clean her throw up so I can go? He's like, no, I can't get up. <laughs> He's so sleepy. What would you like to say for yourself, yeah. Andrew? You want to defend yourself? Before, or? before you get canceled. Alright, so the first... <laughs> <laughs> so the first time she threw up. Like, I knew she threw up. And then, like, she was just laying there, like, laying, like, facing up, and then just threw up. It was like a volcano. Oh my god! Oh. I don't know, I have this fear of her, like, choking on her own throw up. So I, like, picked her up, and then, like, I'm holding, like, grabbing as much throw up as I can. And then I'll, okay. You're grabbing the throw up with your hand? Yeah, I'm like catching it. Oh, that's how you got sick then. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like I was like. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you didn't wash your hands well. I know you! Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, okay, she threw up, she's fine. Go back to sleep. 30 minutes later, she's throwing up again. And this time, I'm like, I was sleeping, I woke up. So I'm like, you know, a little bit. Days, you know, in the days. I think we changed the sheets twice, right? Yeah. Oh my changed god. Changed the sheets twice. And she still threw up. And I, so I had to sleep next to her throw up. Yeah. I woke up, put her back to sleep, and then like, I don't know, she threw up two or three more times in between all that. And then the last time, right, and then when, when we made the agreement that if she threw up one more time, she was going to go to the hospital. Uh, by that time, I was like knocked out. <laughs> So like, when she tried to wake me up, like I didn't realize what was going on. That happened, she's telling me that on the phone. And then immediately my mom is up and I can hear her moving around the house. And I'm like, oh, mommy's up, like maybe she can help you. Cause my sister is off work and she's gotta watch both the kids. Sophie's staying home sick from daycare. And my mom comes into the bathroom, full makeup hair done. I'm like, oh, what's going on? At six in the morning. At six in the morning. Mm -hmm. She had to go to the golf course. Mm -hmm. So she had to leave the house in 30 minutes. We told her that Sophie went to the emergency room, my sister gets no sleep, and she goes, I can come after. <laughs> oh yeah, uh-huh, so she came after, watched the kids, and I guess ingested poo-poo, because she's down right now. <laughs> but yeah, because I didn't sleep at all. Oh yeah, that's yeah. why I Because she started throwing up mm -hmm. at like 12. I took her to, the, her to the emergency room at 3.30, and then I didn't get home till like 6.30, so. Mm. That's why I And then, by that time, Mia was awake, so I was like, Oh god. This is like birth control, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I called my sister. She said that she was so annoyed she couldn't sleep last night because you kept moaning and groaning. <laughs> okay, in all fairness. <laughs> no, so here was in the all moaning fairness, sound. What? The moaning sound was... Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> literally, all night. I, I, all I night. couldn't go to sleep. Me and Sophie were up at 4 a.m. because of you. <laughs> and Sophie was literally up, not just eyes open, but like out of bed up. Okay, so this is like she a went to, therapy session. <laughs> she went to the hospital Thursday, on a Thursday. Wednesday morning, like Thursday morning, I guess. Thursday morning. By the way, guys, this is how Andrew and Cindy flirts. Yeah. <laughs> yelling at each other. Oh. They just sound like they're fighting, but they're flirting, actually. <laughs> so Friday, I went to work. I was fine. Saturday, he, he comes home. He's like, no, you were fine, right? And then Saturday, yesterday was Saturday, right? You want to jump to Saturday or you want to finish Friday? Okay. <laughs> ah, let's go. <laughs> so, okay, so Friday, I'm fine, right? And then uh, my job, we had a food truck. It was uh, wings. We <laughs> ate and then like all I remember was like it was after I ate I started feeling like these cold like shivers and I'm like I have four layers of shirts on I have pants on and then I have leggings under the pants on to keep me warm and I'm feeling chilly all of a sudden I'm getting cold and then like a couple of hours later I'm like oh something's something's wrong with me so I actually, I went to my car and then like I was just laying down because I, I had to close that night too. Mm -hmm. Like I worked till seven. Normally I work till four, but that day I had to work till seven. I think like around five, I was like, man, the hell with this. I went to my car and I was just laying there and then I told the, everybody that I work with, I was like, hey, something's wrong with me. I gotta go lay down for a second. And I, I'm, I'm the type, I don't dodge work for nothing. If I'm at work, I'm working. Like I'm trying to, you know, do get things handled. But I was just like, hey, I, got, I gotta go. So I'm in the car just laying down, just waiting. And then by the time like that we close the shop, it's se like seven o'clock hit, I bolted. Mm -hmm. I was, cause I have other people to close the shop. Went home. And then I texted her and I was like, hey, uh, I'm probably going to be asleep when you get home. Because like, I, it, just, it was getting worse and worse and worse. By the time I got home, like I told my mom, I was like, hey, I'm not feeling good. She's like, oh, well, it's been a rough day. I got to go. Bye. Oh, my God. So I was <laughs> like, grandmas. 
Yeah, yeah, this damn grandma, yeah. man. <laughs> so, so like, I was like, okay, bye, right? And then uh, I went upstairs, and like I said about work, it was Sophie, I'd never skip a day of her shower. Yeah. Luckily, my mom put me to sleep. I go into the uh, bed, double layer myself in the blanket, <laughs> and I'm still cold. I put the heater, like, blowing towards my side of the bed, and I'm still cold. Sophie's tornado is just going all around our room, oh, my God. and I can't do nothing about it. I just turned the TV on for her and I'm just laying there. I can't even sleep, feeling. And then I get home, he gets up to throw up and he's like yelling at me. He's like, hey, give me some of your drink. I know you have some <laughs> drink right there, right? Okay. And then she goes, no, go back and wash your hands. I know, yeah. And I'm like, bro, I washed my hands. No, give no, me no, 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 no. What happened was you came out and you didn't wash your hands. I Honey, did you wash kid. my hands. You didn't wash your hands and then I told you to wash your hands and then you went back in and I don't know what you do. You said you wash your hands, but I didn't hear the water. I washed my hands. <laughs> but the first time he came out, he didn't wash his hands. Because when I said wash your hands, he went back in. Because I, I didn't use the restroom. But I didn't, you threw up and you were hugging the I didn't toilet. even throw up. No, I was sitting in front of the toilet. Yeah, but you touched it. I didn't touch it. But don't throw by. I, I, okay, I lifted. <laughs> So you touch the toilet. Yeah. The toilet lid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know him so well. So I went back and I washed my hands. <laughs> I didn't hear no water. Bruh. <laughs> I washed my hands. It was just like a little three second wash. <laughs> and then he asked me for my drink. I'm like, bro, you ain't touching nothing. That's how. That's okay. how. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what this conversation is about. All I'm, I know is that I'm dying of thirst. Uh huh. I need a drink, <laughs> and she won't give it to me. And then I was like, "Dude, do you want some of Sophie's Zofran that I got from the emergency room?" Uh -huh. And he, at first, he was like, "No, no, it's okay." And then I gave him five ml. He's like, "Is this enough for me?" I was like, "Yeah, that's a little dose." And then he takes it, and I guess he feels better. And then like he falls asleep, fucking snoring right away, right? <laughs> and then a couple hours later, I guess he feels sick again. He's like. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I'm waking everyone up, right? And then he's like, hey, can I get some more of that Zofra? I'm like, no, that's Sophie's. Because you can't get like liquid Zofra and it's like hard to get. So <laughs> all I know from this experience, by the way, I am so terrified because every time it gets sick, like I was telling Cindy about it, like if Stephanie gets sick, yeah. It's game over for me. I guess that's how you. For anyone who is in the house. Really. So it's like in the relationship. That's what we're saying. Like in the relationship, there's always one that's a little more dramatic than the other. So me and Stephanie, it's like I'd rather take double the pain than Stephanie going through the pain. Does that make sense? But it's not out of love. It's selfish. Yes, because yeah. I just can't handle the. Oh, honey, help me. <laughs> and then it's like when I'm sick, when Oma's sick. We just lay there. We just like keep it to ourselves. Like, okay, let like, just don't bother me. Let me rest. But Stephanie's like, do something. Do something. <laughs> and then he's like, what can I do? I don't feel good. I don't feel good. What am I supposed to do? Am I gonna die? That's what he does. I felt like I was dying. I was like, this must be what death feels like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, Dude. That's so dramatic. So you like, didn't even throw up. Sophie threw up like five times, six times. I, like, I would have much rather threw up. So you were about to stick your finger down there. Sometimes I do that because when you helps. don't feel good, like you gotta just get it out. I can't though. Between yeah. you guys, like yeah. Andrew, would you say you're a little bit more like... Dramatic. Not dramatic. When it comes to sickness. Yes, absolutely. That's breaking the character, Andrew. Because we, we expect you to be like, nah, no problem, man. Sickness, it's okay. When Sophie gives me a sickness, uh -huh. it's like lethal. <laughs> Versus like if she were to give me a sickness, I'd just no. be like, ah, I'm, I'm sick, no. whatever. No. Remember last time we got sick, the congestion, which we still kind of have? I was like, oh my god, I feel so sick. My body's achy, whatever, whatever. And you're just like, oh, whatever. And you didn't even pay me no mind. And then you got sick. You're like, honey, I'm sick. What do you do? I'm sick. That's me. I can't do anything. That's literally me. I didn't even yeah. say anything while she was ranting about you because I was like, uh -huh. Tiffany, what about you? You and Paul, is someone, one of you guys more dramatic? dramatic. Paul is dramatic? <laughs> but I guess he's want to give more attention. <laughs> <laughs> he want like, example, if he sits on the couch, like, he accidentally, like, hit himself somewhere, <laughs> and he was screaming, like, oh! <laughs> I would be like, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna watch it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we need to rank like people's like pain tolerance oh, like in the zero. family. I'm zero. T Stephanie will definitely pick the crown. Yes. She probably is, is the best. best. Yeah. yeah, she Her has really good pain tolerance. Really? Yeah. But anyway, I would say mine is pretty good. I gave a uh, birth to a baby with no medicine. Oh, so oh, yeah. that's true. And they stitched me up. Fair. And your baby and was I a big one. Everything. <sighs> and she was huh? eight pounds. So yeah. Eight yeah. Pounds. Oh yeah. If I was pretty upset about it though, not gonna lie. Well, let me give you guys some um, giggles. Oh, Last night, mommy was dying, right? Okay, when you come down to the kitchen, I'm like, I'm gonna make a salad for dinner. There's a bowl on the counter, right? It looks suspiciously clean. I it's like, it's, a, it's like a mixing, like bowl. A mixing bowl. Giant mixing bowl. So I'm like, bowl. oh, I'm sure it's clean, right? It's just on the counter next to the sink. But there's no crumbs, there's nothing. So I'm like, it's clean. And I'm about to put all my salad ingredients, but he's like, no, let me just rinse it. He rinses it quickly, like two seconds. No, I soaked it. I used soap and kind of. Washed like, it in like just like me, like how I wash my hands. No, 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 no. I use soap. I scraped inside, outside, and I then know, rinse it off. What it wasn't like a deep scrape. So I get all the veggies in the fridge. I'm like, this is about to be a masterful salad. I'm so excited. I get like asparagus or oh, artichokes. I get everything all up in there. I get tuna salad thrown in there, diced carrots. Oh, it's gonna be the best salad ever. I start mixing it, mix an avocado in there. He takes Bruh, a bite. I, we look. Like, no, I didn't take a bite. You did. Remember, I was like, taste the seasoning. You fed it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you fed it. That salad was really bomb. Like, yeah. I, we're, we're so excited. Both of me and Stephanie. Me, like, Ooh, yes. this is gonna be good. I run upstairs, I take out my invisible, and I run back downstairs. We plate the salad, and my mom's looking at me and she goes, Oh, she's a salt, the mixing bowl. And I go, Wait, why? Yeah, of course we washed it. We washed it. And she goes, I threw up in there. Okay, let me tell, tell you this. First of all, mind blowing, right? Mind blowing. At least I suggest to wash it, and I did wash it. But now, like, as I'm standing there, as they, Stephanie start placing the salad into a smaller plates for us, like, my anxiety start to build. I'm like, okay, what if, like, I missed a spot? <laughs> what if, like, I didn't scrape every corner, you know what I mean? And she threw up in there. She was passed out on the couch for a while. What if germs travel? Like, they, I just imagine those germs climb outside of the back. Yeah, and they, they, they landed on the bowl and I didn't scrape it. And then we're like, whatever. We ate it and Stephanie started to cry and scream for the next two days. Oh my what am I gonna do? Yeah. Huh? So yeah, we didn't eat the salad. Yeah, but the fact that my mother just casually was like, I threw up in that and then walks away, I'm like, what the f <laughs> What is wrong with this lady? Sophie, why, why do you want Kim? Is she like waiting, anticipating the food? She's such a picky eater, she probably won't even eat it. Yeah. Real thick, huh? Wow. Wow. Oh. She only eats Kim. And, and rice. <laughs> Sophie, you eat too far You eat my only? Mm, you don't care. Okay, Dr. Sophie, can I get a test? I'm sick. <coughs> she put it on my heart. She said, you got no heart, bruh. <laughs> Oh. Genius. So Genius. Genius. Big brain. Oh, my, oh, my. Big brain. Big brain energy. Oh wow. my gosh. She's gonna be a doctor. Her favorite is to get to Mia. Mia. Mia's gonna be her patient, her doll, her restaurant customer, Everything. her grocery store. Is Check that what you out. did? Yeah, I did that to her. What, wait, what do you mean? You're just her little personal doll? Yeah, yeah. and she would take it very seriously. Yeah. And I just remember getting very stressed out that I had to be the best customer. <laughs> <laughs> she always played doctor and I would have to fill out forms. And I don't even know what half the <laughs> is saying. So you liked it? You liked to have a little sister? Oh, yeah. Wait, your sister wasn't your patient? Uh, you guys didn't play like that? I did, I was police. She's always a teacher. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I'm a police. And then she was, I'm a teacher. Yeah, she's always a teacher. I don't know. We just create scenarios too. I was so traumatized with my sister, and then I turned around and did the same. 
to Hyeonwoo. Same thing. <laughs> to Dan Dan? Oh yeah. Same thing? And I got real crazy about it. What was Dan Dan? Yeah, he was my student. <laughs> Whiteboard, I would always draw on. How does he act? He hated it. Hated it. No one time he cried because he hated it. So much. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him to cry outside of my class. <laughs> oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my crazy god. moment. Wait, We're oh about to film a mukbang, but <laughs> just went down. Literally, <laughs> just went down. So my sister was sitting there with her leggings and she has this stain, and we thought it was like chicken sauce, right? And she's like, What is this? And she keeps wiping, wiping it and licking it and wiping it and licking it and wiping it. And she's sitting here and we're like, guys, it smells like poop. We check all the babies, no poop. We check everywhere, no poop. Oh, oh my god, I leggings. smell it here. It smells like poop. poop. It did it smell like poop? Oh, it was poop, definitely. On her legging? Yes. And she was doing what? Yeah. Ah! Why was there poop there? I didn't even change poop today. Nighttime routine. All right, Andrew, I'm gonna hand this to you. <laughs> this. This. So, how do you put her to sleep? This sounds really bad, but we just put her in her crib and say night, love you. Aww. You still have energy for this? It's currently like, you know what? It's only 7:30. <laughs> her bedtime is supposed to be eight. Wee. So that's a day in. Uh, yeah. Don't feel too sorry for us. I think every parent goes through it. Yeah. I mean, we're thankful it's we have tough. two healthy children, but let me tell you, it's not easy. I don't know how parents do it. I feel drained. I didn't even watch the kids. This wasn't even me being like watching the kids for 24 hours. No, this is me just being in the presence of children and why did they suck my energy out? Is that what happens? Yes. Don't you think they just kind of suck your energy? I feel like my brain is lagging. Yes! Yeah, I can't even think. Yes, yeah. I think there's always so much noise. Yes. Maybe that's why I'm like overstimulated. overstimulated yes, yes, always. That's why when you guys were telling us about your wedding plans, like they were both like whining and we, you uh, know, and was, yeah. And I was just like trying to pay attention and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's so yeah. nice, you know? This is weird yeah. being a parent. I can't wait to go home and not be a parent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What I would do to have just some peace like, and quiet. It's pretty wild. Anytime I FaceTime her, it sounds like they're... It sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, it literally sounds like that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Guys, please encourage my sister to start a YouTube channel because I've been trying for the past like months, three months now. Right, Sophie? Okay. It hasn't even been a minute. Come look at Mia. <laughs> Out. She's like, like Andrew, she falls asleep within like five seconds. <laughs> Wait, I swear every relationship has one person. I fall asleep in like 0.2 really? seconds. Oh, yeah, usually it's guys. Really? It's yeah. me. Because wow. usually like you have so much on your mind, you can't go to sleep. Yeah, that's what I do. I go, oh my god, I have so much on my mind, honey. I can't go to sleep. And then, and then he looks at me and he's like, what the f*** is wrong with this girl? Okay, I think we're gonna play with Sophie for a little while and then we're gonna head out. Guys, please start a YouTube channel. How many comments do you need to start a YouTube channel? I don't know. Five. Okay, five. Oh! And what? Oh, five. Five. five! Five! Yeah, I don't know what I meant. Five hundred? Yeah, five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> please leave a comment and we'll see you guys tomorrow.